Welcome to Profile. I'm your host today, Paula Hersey, and we are with two fabulous women talking about enterprising women. Joy Jordan. Thank you. Laurel Hartman. Hello. You both are from the Cape and Plymouth Business Magazine, and your event, Enterprising Women, has a anniversary five years this year. Yes. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, maybe the uh, Enterprising Women, how that all started. Sure. Um, I am the editor of Cape and Plymouth Business Magazine, as well as our other special publications, Health and Wealth, and some other um, occasional things like our giving guide that comes out once a year. I've been with the magazine since it launched 11 years ago. Wow. Yep. I knew you went. Yeah. <laughs> you were there at the beginning. <laughs> and uh, we launched our Enterprising Women Conference five years ago because we felt like there needed to be a place for women to share their thoughts and experiences and insight and in inspiration about how to really achieve the best that they can achieve in their personal and professional goals. Oh, wow. So the, the conference itself is uh, November 19th, 19th yeah. this year, which is uh, just perfect to lead into the busy, busy holiday season. Laurel, you're fairly new to the magazine. I am, Cape yes. and Plymouth, but you're very involved in enterprising women. I am, yeah. So I am the director of content marketing sales for the magazine okay. and I recently joined the team in March however um, these wonderful folks had actually been my clients at the Cape Cotter which is the host of Enterprising Women oh. and uh, so I knew the event and I knew these people well and so it's been a, a natural transition to joining the team. Isn't that great? You know Cape Cod I think is probably one of the only places that I've ever lived that everything kind of comes full circle on occasion so yeah. you know you, you can always count on and knowing somebody for a length of time and then you know when you segue into a new position it's like oh yeah we've worked together in the past so that's amazing. Enterprising Women's event there's a full day here. There's yes. so much going on. Um, I, last year was the first year that I had gone, believe oh, it or not, wow. which was kind of strange. Um, and loved the event so much that I'm going back this year. Wonderful. And I'm going to bring my intern with me so Great. she understands how powerful women and business women kind of get going in this, yeah. this area. Lay out what the day's like. Sure. Okay. Um, we start with um, uh, some icebreakers. Joy speaks. She's the MC for the day. Yep. And uh, we have some excellent speakers. Uh, and then we have lunch with Keynote, um, which we're super excited yep. about um, Betsy Myers being the Keynote this year. And then it um, breaks into, uh, we partnered with SCORE and ABWA yep. and do these wonderful roundtable sessions with excellent topics this year. Those so. roundtables were really cool. Like Last year, I actually stayed uh, for those, and I've been a member of uh, American Business Women's Association yes. for 15 years. Former president. So. Yeah. I, yes, yeah. a former president. Yes. <laughs> um, Betsy Myers, for people who don't know how important that this woman's going to be speaking at this conference, tell us a little bit about who she is. She, she's an amazing woman with a strong history in public service. She served in both the Clinton and Obama administrations, worked on Obama's campaign now is the founding director of the Center for Women in Business at Bentley University. So she's kind of run the gamut between public service and education and she's written some books and she's very, very insightful about the roles that women can play in helping not only our communities, our nation, our businesses achieve right. more and be, be all that they can be. What a coup. <laughs> We're very excited. And our other speakers are right. fantastic as well. We, we try very hard with each event, especially because it's been going on for five years, right. to really mix up the speakers and bring down new people every time for our attendees to learn from. So even if you've come each of the five years, right. you're learning new things and hearing from new speakers. Um, in addition to Betsy, as our keynote, we have um, Bonnie Kirchner, who is a financial expert. Okay. So she'll be talking about the kind of money part of our lives, yep. both personally and professionally. Uh, we have a woman named Farah Bernier, who is employed by PricewaterhouseCoopers in a kind of diversity and HR position, but has yeah. also founded a an organization called Living Fabulously Fierce, which is focused on personal branding, helping young women um, have the confidence to, to really pursue their goals. Right. And our third, Debbie Fay, is Debbie Fay, yeah. who is a delight and who is in fact the only speaker to be returning from a previous. She spoke at our 2012 Enterprising Women Conference, right. and her focus is on public speaking, and oh, which is something that everybody I think likes to 
want to improve on. Exactly. You can't just look at somebody in the audience and think that they're naked and know that right. that's public speaking. It just doesn't work that way, folks. Right. <laughs> and I remember from being a fly on the wall at 2012 uh, that she was ac an excellent she's very speaker. Energetic. So I'm excited that she's coming back. That's great. Yeah. You get a uh, continental breakfast. It starts pretty early. Yes. Registration, I think, is 7.30. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, comments will start to begin around 8.00. And right. then we'll go through the various speakers. We also have some fun icebreakers that we've planned this year to kind of mix things up in between some of the speakers. We right. have um, the girls from Glued, which I don't know if you're familiar with. You know, I keep seeing them. What's that all about? They have created a business last year where they take crafts that you might see on Pinterest or something mm -hmm. and don't necessarily want to take on yourself. They will get the supplies for you. They will host it at local bars and restaurants. So you can get together with a group of girlfriends or a group of coworkers, and they'll teach you how to make these items. I've seen one recently for like stenciled glasses, yep. and I'm thinking to myself, glue gun, wine, what could go wrong? It's, right. <laughs> it's great. I've actually Disaster. done one myself, and it's <laughs> super fun. It's a great way to get together with your girlfriends oh, or your neat. coworkers. And so they're going to come and do a little project with our attendees, and that's oh. going to have a charitable focus. So um, that'll be a nice aspect. And then we also have a woman named Tina Games coming who focuses on journal journaling exercises okay. and kind of how to refocus your your thoughts and your goals in, in a clear manner by writing them down, which a lot of people don't necessarily take the time to do. So, so it'll be a, a, a long day, but a really fun day with different things right. interspersed throughout. So, you know, we, let's come back to enterprising women. Um, you know, the, the whole concept of this really, I mean, this is a profile on women on the Cape. We, we don't necessarily, I think a lot of people don't see the amount of women entrepreneurs that are on Cape Cod, the amount of business women that are on Cape Cod, this event really literally was born for them. Yes, yes. And it's something that we... Because you've interviewed an enormous amount of women over the years, Exactly. That, that was going to, what I was going to segue yeah. into is that we also carry this through during the entire year mm -hmm. in our magazine because we profile enterprising women and we, you know, flag it as such so people flipping through the magazine can see that. Mm -hmm. and. That's what led us to want to create this conference five years ago because we saw that there were so many amazing women doing these amazing things. And what better way to help each of them achieve more by putting them all in a room together and having, you know, three, four hundred women right. who are all intent on improving themselves and their lives and their businesses in one room together, right. networking and sharing and collaborating. It's such a powerful experience. Yeah, it's amazing. And like you said, you've been involved on the flip side, on the yeah, facility side to absolutely. it. So you've gone to some of these conferences. What do you get out of going to a conference with just women? I mean, is, yeah. it, is it different? I, I think that there is this um, community aspect to it where um, people have this real comfortable opportunity to network, um, but it's... it's um, totally focused on um, you know what people are doing from a business perspective but there's a, a genuine warmth around it and you know I find that having seen many of these conferences um, that it's a real professional group of people who um, are there for a specific goal and they're there to um, have some self-growth and they're there to meet new people and see what opportunities there are to um, connect and collaborate and uh, so it's a really fun event to watch and I'm excited to be a part of it this year. Yeah, I think part of my uh, excitement is you do get in a room full of women and there's one male in there. It's quite fun. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Bob Fiamari, who is the, <laughs> the, the yeah, brain of, our, of, our of a lot of the magazine leader, and the publisher yeah. of the magazine, um, tends to be one of the only males in the room because obviously of the event and, and the position of the magazine. But I think the power is in women collaborating together we have an opportunity um, when we get together. There's a lot of give and take with women where it, we don't necessarily see that in a mixed gender uh, conference. Mm -hmm. We tend to see women stand back and the men be a little bit more forceful in these conferences. So, um, you know, kudos to you for, for putting this together. What's kind of on the horizon for women? What are you seeing out there on the Cape that, that seems to be a trend for women now? We're seeing a lot of local producers, for lack of a better term, a lot okay. of women finding a gap in the marketplace for a product or a service and 
filling it themselves. I mean, you have a whole group of young women who are associated with the Love Live Local That's right, movement, yeah. you know, and they have all started their various businesses because they wanted to fill that gap in yeah. some way. You have Good Clothing Company. You know, they're doing right. amazing things and they're doing it to not only, you know, create a living and a life for themselves, but to somehow better the community, which right. is a big element of most of the businesses that I see women creating. Someone like Beth Marcus, who right. won our Enterprising Woman Businesswoman right. of the so Year last year. Right, so you started the awards last year, yes. right? And the awards this year, they've already been announced, yes. so we can talk yes. about yes. these we amazing talk women. About them. Yes, well, so after having done the event for a few years, we, we wanted to kind of bump it up a level and find another way to recognize some of these amazing individual women in the community, and we thought, let's have an awards program. You know, we opened it to nominations, and a committee selected the, the winners last year. And this year, last year, our winners were Beth Marcus as Businesswoman of the Year. <laughs> she, uh, you were the only one. <laughs> Who, you know, uh, obviously is a, um, right. one of the founders of Cape Cod Beer and right. is incredibly involved in the community and does so many great yep. things. Um, our rising star was Amanda Converse, one yep. of the Love Live Local girls. She yep. owns Shift Clothing um, and a whole host of other activities that right. she's involved with. And our nonprofit leader was Stacy Gallagher of Children's Cove, which does such important work for the nice children. Incredible, amazing yes. Stacy Gallagher. Gallagher. Of, yes. so, I'm a huge fan. Yes. <laughs> so it was a great group to launch right. our inaugural year of doing the awards. And, and then this year, um, you know, we're very honored. I don't know if you, I've been talking for a while. Yeah, you want to sure. go over the winners? Yes. Yeah, so, um, Who are they? This year, yeah. So our um, nonprofit leader is um, Diane Pratt oh. uh, from the Cape Cod w Center for Women. An American Business uh, Women's member. Oh, yes, excellent. she is. She is. I actually met her at the open house at ABWA this year. Great. Uh, and we also have um, Jitka Borowick. Um, who Another ABWA. WA yeah, member? Yeah, <laughs> she's our businesswoman of the year, and uh, so oh, she is the so founder awesome. and president of Clean Green. Yeah. And um, then, of course, we have our rising star, yeah. um, and we're really, really excited um, for her. She's, yeah. she's great. Yeah, yeah that's Sassy yeah, Richardson yeah, Sassy. of the farm yeah. Yeah. in oh, Orleans. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. It's a family run um, nursery you know, yep. plant. Yeah. And she's um, the business manager there, yes. and she just has a great energy about her. So. Yeah, and does a lot yeah. of nonprofit yeah. work, and so they're all really amazing women. So it's it's fun to be able to, um, while while we're all together celebrating our collective, you know, fabulousness, it's right. nice to point out a few individuals because I think that, you know, their stories can teach us so much, and that's something we we do with our entire operation, our magazine, all of our other right. events as well, is that. We want to educate the business community, and we feel like stories are the best way to do that because everyone has a special story, and everyone can learn something from everyone else's story. So by spotlighting a few individual winners, we hope that their stories will inspire other women in their personal and professional lives. And by presenting speakers at our event and by having women collaborate, we're, we're hoping right. that all of those stories that women tell each other will you know, inspire and illuminate potential growth and success. Our collective fabulousness. <laughs> I love that. That's that's like my new hashtag. There you go. <laughs> collective so fabulous. You, you heard it here first. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so f November 19th is the event. It starts like oh dark 30. Yeah. Um, 730? I get there at 730. Yeah, right. Because yeah. there's, there's three to four hundred women that come to this. Exactly. So and you can register ahead of time, you know, okay. um, online and get, okay. make sure you get your ticket because we do sell out ahead of time right. every mm -hmm. every year. So yeah. I would advise anybody considering going to go online. And the full program includes lunch with your keynote speaker and then following that is the, the round, round tables. tables. Talk about the round tables a little bit because that again is something new in this event that is um, really designed for small groups to kind of you know get a skill or refine something in their repertoire. Yep, we started them last year and as mentioned SCORE and ABWA are facilitating this aspect of the program mm -hmm. and they have leaders at each table and each table will have different topics. Um, Work-life balance is one of them, mm -hmm. I believe, negotiating, yeah. different sort of specific... Working with older workers. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 
<laughs> different specifics that you can kind of drill down on in a small group setting. You know, right. there may be five to ten people at the table, yep. so you can really have some heart-to-heart -heart discussions, get some feedback. It's very much a give and take right. sort of experience. And there's um, uh, several movements around the tables. Yes. I think mm -hmm. uh, there were three rounds last I year. Believe I so. believe that's yeah. accurate. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So it's a great way. You know, you hear all this information during the day. You know, you're you're listening. You're doing some networking, some discussing with your table mates or during the breaks, and then the round tables give you some opportunity to really distill that information that you've taken in all day yep. and share it and elaborate on it as you exchange ideas with the other women at your table. Fantastic. Well, it was a wonderful, wonderful interview with these guys. Thank you so um, much for having us. Really, you know, the, the whole event, November 19th, um, you know, the, the magazine Cape and Plymouth um, has an enterprising women's section in it. Basically, are you uh, monthly? Almost every month. It's, uh, we'll skip a month here and there to focus right. on other topics such as family businesses or the right. creative economy, but we try to have definitely a handful okay. throughout the year. And the November issue of our magazine has a huge focus on enterprising women right. with more comments from the speakers and from the award winners and some of the other women that are involved in the event. So it, you know, definitely pick that up Excellent. to take a yeah, Some of our presenting sponsors are participating in the magazine. Um, Cape Cod Healthcare, Cape Cod Five, uh, and Nutter, McLennan, and Fish. So uh, awesome. they have some great profiles in there that are going to be really exciting to see. Yeah, as it's well. a great way to learn about some of the opportunities right here on the Cape for women who really want to, you know, push forward in their career. Exactly. You know, it's not just all about you know, sand and beaches, yep. you know, there's lots of other things happening here on yes. the Cape, especially in the off season, um, which is great. Laurel, thank you thank so you. much. Joy, always a pleasure. Lovely, thank you. Uh, Enterprising Women is November 19th. Uh, you can uh, register online. There'll be a link right on your screen. I'm Paula Hersey, and this is Profile.